really did enjoy recording the part where Posh Spice is being absolutely like such a diva and there is a section at the very end of the video uh, where you see her walking down the road um, at the very end I picked a section that I'd recorded that I, had, that I just thought was brilliant where Posh is there in front and she's got Posh and she's doing all the pointing and you know girl power and everything Don't you need the bag? No. I'm just being feverish. And I wanted to include that there, and I, I put it in, and it didn't fit in with the end of the film. Um, because, you know, it's the dream's ending, and it didn't fit in, so it was better that she just went down the road. So I took out the, the funny bit and just had it, you know, going down the road. Um, so that was another bit that didn't make it other uh, parts that didn't make it, we'd recorded the moves um, by Lady Godiva's statue. Unfortunately, um, on the footage, Lady Godiva's head's chopped off. Um, and it was too far away. We'd also done it on the Millennium Bridge. did some dance moves um, and that was too far away. We did it at the Toy Museum, did it, you know, all of that. Again, too far away and that was the problem and one of the things hopefully I've learned um, was that, you know, if you are going to record um, you need to, you know, if you're doing dance moves, it needs to, first of all, the things that I've learned is it needs to be closer. And that's why most of what you saw was the close up versions, the ones that were far away, just look too now. And the other thing as well that I've learned is that it's all about the positioning of the camera, about where you're stood, what's behind you. I'll give you an example of when at the top of the street and down the street was the pedestrian crossing and I was kind of like to one side and I should have really been more in the middle so you've got the pedestrian crossings didn't even think about the time turning during the playback of course uh, it's in this garden that I had to attack and some roses were hurt in the making of this video because I just thought, well, do I go out and buy a bunch of roses? Not on the budget I've got. So, hello. So, I thought, right, okay, I'm going to have to get a pair of scissors and cut the roses. And I thought, this has got to be in one take. And then I did it, and I looked back at the footage and thought, it's too long for three seconds or whatever I need. And, I, you know, I've got this suit on with a again a ridiculous tie and a stupid hat and when you see cutting rows you didn't see that so that's why I included the bit where I'm stood there at the end with that and amazingly enough when it came back to the video footage it was in time with the music and things just kept going wrong um, you know, even with the simple dance move, it had to be the right hand and the left hand, and, and just kind of doing it, looking very stiff. And things would go wrong. And I'd forget the move and I'd do it wrong, and it's like, you'd have to start it all again. Like I said, the difficult part was getting somebody to volunteer to be Rifra. And so it was probably one of, well, I think it was, that it was the very last line that I needed to record in the whole video. Because I'd, I'd done the final waking up scene at the end where he wakes up. And 
I'd gone to the park and there was a group of lads playing football and um, these two lads were talking and I said to one of them, I said, you know, I really need like, a group of lads that look rough and, you know, tough for to play, you know, just a three second part in the video. And he says, yeah, yeah, we'll play football and then come back in now or so. And I thought, and I said, you know, you're not going to be there, are you? And he's like, no, 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 I'll still be hanging about the park. And sure enough, I went back and, and my godson had come to visit me. And so he he held the camera and um, the lads were there and they agreed to do it. And fair play to them because they, I think they were spot on. They just had to stand there and look at the part. And they did. And of course, I go in the middle and look really stupid. <laughs> That's it. That's so the video, well, just a bit of fun. Not professional, like I say. Um, just a fun because I love the song. And I kind of like, with the 3D glasses that you know, I just had when I've been to see a film, and the, you know, sort of the wig and the hats and the suits and the ties, all from my, most of them anyway, from my wardrobe. Um, just added to that and give it a bit of a pet shop boys feel and there was just that's the two favourite parts in the video for me where it looks really good in my opinion was where I'm doing that dance move um, with the pelican crossing behind there's not a soul or as somebody pointed out just a pigeon or two stalking me down the road and it just looked really good And the other one was where, in slow motion, I was hadn't been able to use the footage from the toy museum, the old building. And I'm just walking up, and I, it just looked, to me, it looked good. Uh, but hopefully you had fun, as much fun as I did making the video.